Hey, what's up YouTube? Steuben here, and today I'm bringing you an Al Creamy VMAX deck profile. Uh, if you've peeped the channel in the past few months, you've seen that we've uploaded one uh, with physical cards on the tabletop. And now that we've got some new tools and tricks for this thing, uh, here we are in PTCGO to bring you more. So right out of the gate, let's take a look at Al Creamy VMAX. Adornment for one colorless lets you attach psychic energy from your deck to all of your benched Pokemon and then shuffle your deck. Pretty good. Get you up there real quick. G Max Whisk. 60 times the amount of energy you discard from all of your Pokemon. They don't have to be psychic, but that's what we're going to play anyways. So you can get there real quick. Uh, so for 5 energy, you hit for 300. Uh, 6 energy, you knock. You pretty much knock everything out. Uh, it's pretty awesome. The next card we're looking at is El Creamy V, and uh, it's just not really uh, important here, uh, other than the fact that you evolve into the VMAX with it. So in our previous build, we didn't have a Crobat, so that's an obvious inclusion. We also played four copies of Rotom, uh, which really didn't do too much for us, other than like it was a starter other than Dedene and Eldegoss. But now we've got Ditto V. Ditto is amazing here. Uh, once during your turn, you can take a basic V, and swap this card out in play, anything attached to it, how long it's been in play, all the turns, and move it to the discard pile, and then now you've got, in this situation, you're all creamy here. And then it can evolve into the VMAX. Or, in a certain situation where you're playing with Al Creamy VMAX, it is weak to metal. So, Luke Metal, Zamazena, Zacian, they can be problems. But, ditto here, can go through that. Uh, he's weak to fighting, so you can take a chump hit from his Zacian and still survive. And you can use Max Transform for three energy. You can pretty much copy your opponent's attacks and hit them back with it. So it's a nice counterplay, and it gives you another like type coverage without really like skewing the line. Theoretically, this deck plays six Al Cream EV because of how the Ditto operates. You're never really going to get all of them in play at once, but it is a nice option and then just to have the one V max it's pretty cool we do play rose in here to accelerate energy from the discard pile back onto the alcremy and the ditto and because we play rose we play salt valley gx which lets you draw until you have five cards in your hand every turn and this guy can also attack through um zamazena uh he can two shot him here because we're playing the rose package we're playing uh pokemon catchers Sure, we have boss's orders, but you can't play boss the same turn you play Rose unless you played Lieutenant Surge, and there's just not enough space in here. So it's really all about turboing out that adornment attack as soon as possible, uh, getting as much energy as you can in play, and then just start knocking everything out without creamy. And when you run low, we've got retrievals and Rose to get that energy back into play. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. We're going to go ahead and hop over into some gameplay now. All right, we're going up against Ghost Ness. Huh, okay. Uh, I'll go with Tails. And of course we lose the flip. Well, it's not the best start, but it is better than starting with a Tidene, a Crobat, or an Eldegoss in this situation. It is manageable. We are going second, though. So hopefully we can draw out with this Crobat. We may have to waste these catchers and this energy attachment to type null to get anywhere here. Alright, they quick ball for a Crobat. And they're also playing Hoopa, so this is either going to be an Eternatus deck or a new Crobat VMAX deck, which are pretty fun. Zigzagoon definitely gives it away. They're playing Eternatus, and there's the Eternatus. They attach, they crowbat for four, and they pass. All right, let's see what we get. We get a Ditto. Well, Ditto definitely comes down to the bench. Ditto gets the energy here. I kind of want to draw as much as possible, but I really don't want to bring uh, that up there. Uh, let, let's attempt to bring the crowbat to the active. Let's burn these catchers so we draw more cards. That's fine. Man, we couldn't have uh, asked for a worst, uh, a worst start, honestly. 
riveting gameplay. There's the VMAX. They have the two energy attached to it. It's only a matter of time before their bench is full and they're swinging it on us. They're probably going to gun down the uh, ditto here. <clears throat> I should have switched out of the type null into the Crobat with the switch. That way we can Evo Incense next turn to get Sylvalli to start drawing more cards. Seeing now that they Marnie does it, it doesn't even matter. There's an Alcremie, an Alcremie, an Incense, and a Research. Well, we can bench an Alcremie. We can discard one with the Research. We can grab... Probably... No, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's see what we do top deck. Okay, so they're stuck in the active. This actually works out pretty well for us here. We can throw this out. And grab another ditto. We'll bench an El Creamy. We're going to tag this ditto out for the El Creamy we just discarded. I'm going to incense. We're going to grab the VMAX. We only... Ooh, man, we prized uh, two copies. Holy crap. So let's evolve and then research. We get a switch. We get the ditto VMAX. We're going to switch into this. We're probably going to end up actually swinging with ditto VMAX here. Uh, I don't want to actually knock out that Hoopa. That's rough. We, he's stuck though, so I mean, I guess we're going in. We are going in. All right, well, Adornment gets an energy on everybody. So now we have a grand total of six in play. Which only does uh, 300. No, I'm sorry. It does more. I'm dumb. Man. I got another VMAX. They might be stuck here. Goon goes in. Bat comes out. Yep. Now they're digging for the switch here. Alright, they fill their hand back up. There's the switch. They do not get the KO though. We do. Uh, we do get the KO here. We do 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 360. Feels pretty good, actually. So we want to discard them from here, because they'll probably knock it out. That's five, that's 300, and one more from back here. Seems okay to me. Hopefully we get a V Max. There we go. And a quick ball to get out of this situation. Another V. Nice. All right, we're we're in good shape. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. All right, they stamp. Kind of unfortunate there. But we do get Sylvalli and Marnie, so we're gonna be able to Marnie them and draw our hand back up too. They unfortunately get the KO here. I would assume they're going to call him for another Eternatus. So in this situation, Ditto really doesn't do much for us. Other than tag into another Al Creamy that can evolve and have an energy ready to go. We 
We definitely evolve you. We're going to swap you out. And then I'm going to play the retrieval here because we have plenty in the discard pile. To cover our butts, because we're going to have to um, decorate this turn. I'm going to attach the other Alcramian. Then we're going to play the Marnie here. They got onto four, but we're also going to stamp them. Just for good measure. We've got a balloon to put down here. we got this quick ball. In this situation, we're going to go ahead and grab the Dedene. I'm actually going to disc reload first to draw three. Uh, yep, we're, on, we're going in. We're going in. There's the VMAX. We have a catcher. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to retreat into this. I really don't know how much energy is left in there. Uh, we have to. We can chump a shot with this, uh, but I think we're gonna have to rose next turn. So we should probably just save the catcher here, uh, and hopefully there's enough uh, in here to really roll this out. Yeah, we have three. So I mean, we're gonna we're gonna pull through here. Next turn we'll be able to attach the active and rose. <clears throat> So I think we're I think we're we're pretty set here. They can't they can boss around and you know deny some energy. Uh, however, they're stamping us. So we're also stamp proof because of brave buddies. So we'll get three. We get we get another uh, incense here. Yeah, they don't get the KO. We can just grab nothing so we can draw more cards. And we have two, four. We have six. It doesn't even matter at this point in time. We, we do win this game. Do we have a rose in the discard pile? That'd be the uh, clutch move here. 120, 180, 240, 360. We got it. Boom. Two knockouts on two VMAXs with Al Creamy VMAX. Knocking out Eternatus. Pretty solid win there. Nice comeback. Honestly, we started really sketchy, uh, so I'm definitely glad we got this dub. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Alright, we're going up against Sundaraj. Alright, let's go with heads for the shreds, and we lose the flip. I, I'm actually okay uh, either way, going first or second here. Uh, we mulligan. Unfortunate. We give them an extra card. We start on Alcremia, though. That's what we want. I'm also just going to bench the Titan all here. We don't play Calm, so it doesn't really uh, affect us here. It's Colossal. Okay. So this is a... A matchup I don't think I've discovered here uh, completely yet, but we do know that we don't want to put Ditto down just because of the weakness. Best uh, start here, but uh, I kind of want to see if we can just stall him out a little bit. <clears throat> nice. Okay, we put that down for sure. Uh, we're gonna end up just deadening here. Mm. 
super unfortunate. I don't want to put that down. I don't want to put that down at all. It's a really bad morning to draw into that and then have to and draw like half of our energy out of the deck. Are they attached again to the Colossal? Are they stuck in the active with that Oranguru? And they've got a Calm, putting in a Crobat. Probably to get the Crobat again? Grabbing a Dedenne here, okay. Discarding a Rotom Phone. Putting the buff padding down, okay. Depending on how many uh, stone energy they get on there and that buff padding, knocking out the Colossal VMAX with the Alcremi VMAX may actually be a pain in the ass. There's a research coming from him. There's the VMAX. We're going to hit with Eruption Shot here. Rotom Phone pretty much seals that deal. If not, they've got the Orangaroo ready to roll. Oh man, we ripped another energy. We need to get out of this situation uh, ASAP. So we're actually going to grab the Sil Valley here. We're, we, we probably lost this game. I'm going to attach here, and let's just hope that Disc Reload does it for us. We get a boss to stall. We have a retrieval. Oh, that sucks. I mean, we can just make Alcremie shake here. Damn. We are definitely in a pickle. Ooh, they get a VMAX off the Great Ball. So they're going to knock out that Cell Creamy this turn if they have an energy in hand or two energy in hand, potentially. There's a Marnie. I'm okay with the Marnie putting all this energy back into the deck. That's where we want it. For adornment. That ain't a good hand, though. They hammer off the Ditto's energy, and they put the stadium down. Are they stuck? Nope, here comes the Crobat. Another buff padding. And the switch. I don't know if that was the right call. If they would have had the energy to attack and they'd be able to swap it around. Well, I guess they didn't, so. Alright, we'll start with the Sil Valley. We're going to get rid of this Ditto uh, and turn it into an Alcremie here. I'm going to attach to it. Bench another one. Uh, I'm going to catch her. Nope, we flip tails. Might as well pal pad. Uh, put both these supporters back into the deck. Hit him with the stamp. And then we're going to disc reload for five cards, and hopefully we get something good here. Uh, we didn't. <clears throat> Super unfortunate. All right, so I'm going to quick ball away the energy. We put those supporters back in the deck. That that sucks. Because we could we could have Eldegost here. Oh man. This is just this is a scuffed game. Yeah. We can bench this down, bench this, and then we've already disc reloaded. All we could do is attempt a boss stall and then retreat and sack the uh, type null here. 
Let's see what they've got. We brick pretty hard. Okay, they've got the attachment and another research. They're down to just 11 cards in their deck now. Primate Wisdom, energy on top most likely here, and then they're going to hit us with the Eruption Shot. Ooh, the Tool Scrapper. Kind of messes with our flow. All right, I'm just gonna raw dog the Alcremi up. There's the evolution incense. Let's grab the VMAX. Do we have enough energy in the discard pile just to be able to play this Rose? We do, all right, we're doing it. Brave buddies, disc reload. Uh, there's another Alcremi. We have a energy retrieval, so we can at least grab those last two back. Uh, we're going to attach to this one. And in this situation, we're only doing a grand total of 240. So I'm actually just going to adornment here. Uh, and we're going to give everybody an energy card. I should have I should have benched uh, the other Alcremi. That's a flaw on my part, but we'll see what happens here. They can't one-shot the Alcremi. But they're going to boss around it. Interesting choice. <clears throat> Crushing Hammer. Police Tails. It's heads. Of course it's heads. It's always heads. They took it from the active? Wh wh why? Why did they hammer from the active? All right, so this thing's got 370 HP and it also takes 40 less. So we have to do 400, 410? That's absolutely disgusting. That's so much of our energy eaten up. We have a rose for next turn. Uh, 120, 180, 240, 300. Yeah, we have to discard everything but one. Dang. They're also uh, in a position to where all they have to do now is uh, boss uh, for a game. That hammer would suck. Thank you. I mean, the most we can do is 240 next turn. Ah, oh, man. We've also used a rose already. Our pal pad is in the discard pile. We only have one rose left. We really don't have much we can do. Oh, they're going to deck out? What? What is even going on? He doesn't have a... You don't have a deck left, bro. Oh my god, what a throw. I can't believe we won. I, I can't believe we won. What a throw. What a throw. Holy crap. I honestly thought he had us. All he, all he needed was a boss. I can't believe they just threw like that. Well, that's the deck profile. Hopefully you enjoyed the games. Uh, we ran into some interesting matchups there. 
Uh, we pulled through on a couple of them. Uh, if you want to see more gameplay from me, come over to the Twitch channel. Uh, like I said, I play Pokemon over there three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the evening, Eastern Standard Time. I play a lot of other games as well. We've been playing Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Uh, I play Destiny 2, Valheim, uh, all the other Pokemon games. Learn how to play VGC. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the chat drives me nuts sometimes, but I love them. Uh, it's a good time. And I hope we see you guys over there on the Twitch channel. If you want to help support the channel, please hit a like, leave a comment, please subscribe. Uh, check out all the social media content down below. Uh, TCGplayer.com affiliate link. Uh, any, any purchase you make on TCG Player helps the channel grow even more. Uh, we started a Patreon page. You can help me out for just a dollar a month and get early access to uh, posts where I'll put uh, private links for videos in the future. I'm really looking forward to improving the content that I bring to the table and uh, increasing the reach of where we can go with everything here. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one, or see you later on Twitch. Peace out.